um, because I live in a, uh, a, a, a you know majority Republican district, um, vastly majority, uh, vast majority. Uh, my vote often, many elections, doesn't really mean anything. Um, uh, I have no chance. My candidate has no chance to win, and it's just a it's a and it's an exercise of democracy, but it doesn't mean anything because I'm not going to get a representative. I'm not going to vote for somebody who's going to represent my interests. And uh, so, I mean, that's you know the first thing we have to agree on is in, is that f people have to see the wisdom and beauty in in attempting to truly create representation to to truly th if that's our goal if that's our intent you know with the one man one vote um you know uh, and to have real choice then there's a way to do that better than we're doing it now um you know currently you know let's let's use the the senate as an example i'm not saying we change this but the senate obviously is has been manipulated to to give certain people certain states um to compensate for their weak population and give them extra power. I mean, um, California has a population that's over 30 million people and has two senators. Alaska has a population that's under 600,000 and has two senators. I mean, it's you know a, a person in California. Obviously, their vote is 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 diluted. Um, you know. Uh, how many times? Uh, Sixty times, <laughs> you know, fifty times more diluted than a person in Alaska when it comes to control in the Senate. Um, so there's a fundamental unfairness, and, and even the Electoral College is, is, you know, this whole concept that, you know, we're going to ignore the popular vote. We're going to ignore what the voters said as individuals, and we're going to decide who the president is based on this statewide calculation of who won enough majorities in enough states. And, uh, you know, people will cling to that idea, but to me it's abhorrent to the whole idea that you're going to have an election. It should mean something. If people are going to, if you're going to say it's one man, one vote, then those votes should mean something. And if you're going to just say that, no, no, it doesn't matter um, because, you know, by this geographic regional uh, scenario, <coughs> uh, the popular president can't be president. So... <laughs> anyway, that's it's to me these are unnecessary disenfranchisements. You're basically taking people's authority away. You're giving them no representation. You're just stealing um, their rights and their vote. And and you know if you can't get past that argument, if you can't see that that it is wrong for a, one person's vote to mean more than another person's vote. Well then, there's no point in listening any further. There's nowhere to go. You, you, you know, obviously it's the concept. You just don't get it. You know, you don't get the the ethical necessity to allow everybody to have a fair voice, an equal voice. And and if you don't see that, you don't see it. I mean, I can't. How can you make the argument for it? It's 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 one of those things that you know. Uh, difference between war and peace, whatever. I mean, these are all, you know, these these big issues, these big things. I mean, you either see it or you don't see it. And so I'll, I'll go on on the presumption that you understand that that's the goal and that's what we want to achieve. We want to achieve a representative democracy where people have an incentive to vote because they're going to go choose their representative. Um, they're not going to be choosing between, you know, Adolf Hitler and Mussolini. <laughs> you know, they're going to be choosing between something that they actually want to win the election you know not a lesser of evils um, but a best of the best and so <clears throat> you know to, to change this system we have to change the focus the focus can't be uh, geography and it's got to be ideology people have to be represented for what they believe in not for where they live you know I mean it just doesn't, you know, this just doesn't, geography sometimes it has a part in your life, and you certainly should have the right to vote your geography, okay, so if you want to vote for a representative has, who has no other mission but to go to that legislative body and, and advocate for your farm rights or for your their state rights or this right or that right, your local rights, well, you can do that, but a person who wants um, 
something more than that, wants to be represented by something real, should have the right to do that, to vote on their politics, you know, not on where they're living. And uh, so, so if we, we, if we get rid of the idea of, you know, basing every election on a geographic district, and open legislative elections up. So basically, let's say if there's a an election for a state legislative body, there wouldn't you wouldn't vote based on your region. Certainly, you would vote regionally. You would vote locally, but you could vote for a candidate that would be statewide. I mean, you could vote for somebody who actually lived so in other, some other state. You could vote for anybody who was on the, you know, a, a registered candidate. And, uh, and and all that would depend on is if enough people voted for that person, he would be elected. And each representative, I mean, the key difference would be is each representative would be o only electable based on affirmative votes. They couldn't steal any part of their constituency. So you would get elected, you know, you'd have to get, let's say the required number of votes was 100,000. You would have to get the 100,000 affirmative votes to be elected. And if you didn't, you weren't elected. You know, there just wouldn't be any, you know, you want a 51% majority or 53% majority. No, to get into the group, you have to get sufficient number of votes. And, uh, you know, to make that possible, all we have to do is, is have a voting system where you know, you might have a hundred choices. There might be a hundred candidates, and, and uh, you would vote for your candidate. You'd, you'd have a choices that would range, you know, maybe ten choices, five choices. It really doesn't matter. But you'd have the ability to vote for a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, based on your priority, based on which guy you'd want to win. So if 